Welcome to Engineering Python. This is the Python programming course for engineers. In this video, I will continue to discuss GUI programming using PyQt and Qt Designer. We will create a card picking tool. This program generates a hidden permutation of some numbers and associates the numbers with the buttons. When the user clicks a button, the associated number is shown on the button. We will use the following widgets in this program. QMain window, QLine edit, QLabel, QFont, QPush button, and QProgress bar. We will use the GUI development flow I introduced in a previous video to develop this program. Step 1 is to design the interface in Qt Designer. To start Qt Designer, you can type in Designer in the window Start menu. For Mac OS, type in open-a designer in a terminal to launch Qt Designer. In this new form dialog, you can choose main window and click create. But I have already created the UI. I will just open it from my folder. Next, I'll briefly describe what I did when I created this graphic user interface. I clicked the empty area in the main window. In the property editor, Set the main window's geometry width and height. Set the window title to pick a card. In the object inspector, there were originally a menu bar and a status bar. I just right clicked and removed them so you don't see them here. We don't need them in this program. In the widget box, I searched for a label, drag and dropped this widget to the main window. I double-click the label and change the text to number of players max 30. I searched for line edit in the widget box. Drag and dropped line edit to the main window. Change the default text to 20. Then I searched for push button in the widget box. Drag and dropped a push button to the main window. Double-click the button and change the text to generate a new permutation. Change the object name to button generate. I searched for a progress bar in the widget box. Drag and dropped a progress bar to the main window. Set the value to zero. I searched for push buttons in the widget box. Drag and dropped a push button to the main window. Repeat this process 30 times, so you see a total of 30 buttons here. Let me break out this layout first. Then I selected the top two widgets and click this Layout Horizontally button. Select these five buttons and click this Layout Horizontally button. Repeat that for the other buttons in each row. Use Ctrl A to select all the widgets and click this Layout Vertically button. Click on empty area in the main window and click this Layout in a Grid button. I double clicked these buttons and changed all the text to question marks. In the Property Editor, I changed these buttons' names. Their new names are from Push Button 1 to Push Button 30. Uncheck the Enabled checkbox. That means we disable these buttons at the beginning and the user cannot click them. After that, you select O and set the font to Consulus 20. In the Signal Slot Editor, I added a signal. The sender is Line Edit. The signal is Return Pressed. The receiver is Button Generate. The slot is click. This means when we type in a number in the line edit and press enter in the keyboard, it is equivalent to clicking this generate new permutation button. You can preview this interface by clicking the menu form preview. It doesn't do anything yet. We will write code to process the clicks of these buttons later. After we are done, we save the interface to card GUI.UI. It's an XML document. 
Step 2 is to convert the UI file to a Python file using the following command in a command prompt or terminal. PyUIC5 dash x card GUI dot UI dash o card GUI dot py. After that, we will get this Python file card GUI dot py. We can open this Python file and see the content. The entire window is an instance of this UI main window class. You can find all the widgets we added to the interface in this setup UI function, like the grid layout, the label, the line edits, the progress bar, and the push buttons. Some of the properties are defined in this retranslate UI function. Don't change anything in this Python file. Step 3 is to code in Python. We need to create a new file named card.py. I already did that, so I just opened my file. In the first line of this file, we need to import everything from card GUI. We also import the time module and the NumPy library. We will use time to simulate the progress in the progress bar. We will use NumPy to generate a random permutation. Then we will define the signals function to deal with the signals passed by the widgets. We connect the generate new permutation buttons clicked signal to a user defined generate function. The for loop will connect the 30 question mark buttons clicked signal to a user defined pick function. In the generate function, we set the progress bar's initial value to 0. Then we get the number in the line edit and generate a numpy integer array from 1 to n. We use the permutation function to create a new random permutation of these numbers. Each button will be associated with one number in the permutation. We store the generated permutation in the permutation instance variable, so it can be used in other methods as well. Next, we use a for loop to enable the first n buttons and disable the remaining ones. We reset the text of these buttons to a question mark. We show the progress in the progress bar. Pause 0.05 seconds after we are done with each of the 30 buttons. In the pick function, because we have 30 buttons, we need to get the name and the ID of the button that was clicked. Then we set the button's text to the associated number in the permutation we generated earlier. Next, we need to add these three self-defined functions as new attributes in the UI main window class. The rest of the code has been explained in the previous simple calculator example in this course. I'll not repeat them here. Step 4 is to execute the program. We do it in Jupyter Notebook using the run magic. We use the default number of players, 20, click the Generate New Permutation button. The progress bar will be filled from 0% to 100%. 20 of these buttons will be enabled. Click one of them. It shows a random number between 1 and 20. Click another. It's a different number. You can try more clicks. This time, change the number of players to 10 and hit the Enter key. It will enable the first 10 buttons and reset the text to question marks. Click some buttons and see the new permutation. Okay, that was how to use PyQt and Qt Designer to create a card picking tool. The course materials are available on YouTube and GitHub. You can watch the course videos in sequence. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. I'm Yong Wang. Thanks for watching.